Hello everyone, welcome back to High Stakes. My name is Brian. I'd like to start this video by asking for your support in two simple steps. First, please subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to push the bell icon so you don't miss any of our daily betting videos. Second, give this video a like, it really helps the algorithm boost our visibility. Now before we dive in, for those interested in receiving more premium betting tips and predictions, if our guidance has helped you win bets and generate revenue, we kindly ask for your support in revitalizing this channel. Your assistance is crucial in strengthening our presence on YouTube. Feel free to explore our Patreon support tier or check out our other options. Thank you. Minnesota Twins vs Chicago White Sox On Monday evening, the Minnesota Twins 5-0-3-9, second in Al Central take on the Chicago White Sox 26-65, fifth in Al Central in the first game of their three-game set at Guaranteed Rate Field. The Twins have not named their starting pitcher for this contest as of the publication of this article. The White Sox will send 30-year-old RHP Chris Flexen 2-7, 5.08 era to the mound, who will make his 17th start. The Twins swept the White Sox 3-0 during their last series, played in Chicago earlier this season. The Twins have won two of their last three games, including a 9-3 victory over the Houston Astros at home over the weekend. Minnesota third baseman Jose Miranda went 2-3 and drove in a run and tied a major league record by hitting in 12 straight plate appearances. Byron Buxton and Brooks Lee went deep to help power the Twins to the win. Starter Joe Ryan picked up his sixth win of the season by going 5.2 innings and allowing three earned runs on five hits while striking out eight batters. The Minnesota relief corps was effective, pitching 3.1 innings of scoreless ball. Minnesota's offense has been on point recently, scoring nine runs or more in three straight contests. The White Sox have dropped two of their previous three games, including a 4-3 defeat at the hands of the Miami Marlins on the road Saturday. Reliever Michael Soroka lost the lead and the game when he led up a two-run shot to Miami right fielder Dane Myers in the seventh inning. Soroka fell to 0-9 on the season. White Sox starter Garrett Crochet went four innings and allowed two runs on five hits and three walks. D.H. Gavin Sheets doubled, knocked in a run, and scored to help Chicago build a 3-0 advantage by the third inning. Chicago's pitching staff has stumbled recently, allowing four runs or more in three of their previous five games. Flexen has failed to win in his prior three starts versus Minnesota. The Twins have dominated the White Sox recently, winning eight straight against them, including four in a row at guaranteed rate field. Chicago has won only four times in their last 20 chances versus the Twins over the past two seasons. They have lost four of their last six games overall. Minnesota has won at a 72.7% clip in their prior 11 games in Chicago. They have won five of their last seven contests overall and four of five on the road. Minnesota hurlers have produced a 3.14 era and 1.15 whip against White Sox hitters in their last 10 games. The Twins have a significant edge offensively in this contest, outranking their opponent in multiple key categories. The White Sox have not had a true home field advantage in 2024, winning only 35.6% of their games played there. They have lost two of their previous three series at guaranteed rate field, including a three-game sweep by the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Twins have won their previous three series away from their home stadium. The stats and trends strongly support a Minnesota victory on the road in the first game of the series on Monday. Take Minnesota minus 1.5 runs. Texas Rangers vs Los Angeles Angeles, the MLB action continues on Monday night, and the league's rolling out a six-game slate for us to bet. One of the most intriguing matchups comes out west as the Texas Rangers 42-48 square off against the Los Angeles Angels Angels 37-52. John Gray gets the nod in the series opener, while the Halos counter with Davis Daniel. It was a very successful weekend for the Rangers as they broke out the brooms and swept the Rays in three games 3-0, 4-3, 1-3-2. This much-needed sweep saw Texas improve their record to 4-2-2-8, where they're now just 6.0 games off of Seattle's first-place pace. From a futures perspective, the reigning champs are 1,400 to come back and win the AL West, and they're also 600 just to make the playoffs minus 1,000 to miss. Meanwhile, the vibes aren't nearly as high in Southern California. At least if you're a fan of the Angels. Los Angeles is having a tough year, but what should we have expected with the departure of Shohei Otani to the Dodgers and Mike Trout knee going down with a long-term injury? The Halos are just in the midst of a 1-6 run, which puts them at 37-52 10.5 GB in AL, West entering the new week. 
If you're looking for a bright spot, Anthony Rendon Hamstring is eligible to return off the aisle on Monday night. This should be a fun series opener on Monday night, but when the dust settles, I think it's pretty obvious that the right move is to back the Rangers in this game. They may finally be turning the corner following their World Series hangover, as they're coming off a 3-0 weekend where they outscored the Rays 205. Meanwhile, the Angels are just 1-6 Sioux over their last seven games. Furthermore, the Halos are opting for a starting pitcher, Davis Daniel, who has just 25.2 MLB innings under his belt. This may be a tall task for the right-hander, as he takes on a Texas offense that's 5th in Fangraphs Wilba.348 and 6th in RRC 125 over the last seven days. Also, Daniel just got shelled for five runs four earned against the Athletics in his previous start. Texas likely won't need much offense to secure the win in this spot, and I think they should manage to score enough to cruise to an easy win. Take Texas Rangers' money line. The Diamondbacks have promoted Yilber Diaz to make his MLB debut on Monday evening. Diaz issued mediocre numbers in the minor leagues, posting a 4.03 era and a 1.24 whip, accompanied by a 4-8 record in 76 innings. The rookie has spent nearly four seasons in the minor leagues, issuing a 4.43 era and a 1.30 whip. He is the Diamondbacks' 16 prospect. The bullpen has been shaky this season, posting a 4.47 era and a 1.39 whip. Arizona begins a homestand in this clash. The group is battling in the wild card. They stand only two games out of a wild card spot. The Diamondbacks earned a big series road win against the Dodgers last week propelled by the Bats and won two of three road meetings against the Padres before this series. They scored 24 runs and squandered 16 runs. The group is one game above .500 at home. The Atlanta Braves have been inconsistent and have only won two of their last four series. They remain below .500 on the road. The Arizona Diamondbacks are playing with confidence. They have won four of their last five games, including a series win against the Dodgers last week and a series win in San Diego on the weekend. Furthermore, Braves pitcher Chris Sale is solid, but the Braves are only 3-3 in his last six outings. Arizona has the hottest offense in the big leagues. They scored 25 runs in three bouts against the Dodgers last week, followed by 24 runs in three games against the Padres on the weekend. Yilbert Diaz is making his debut for the Diamondbacks. The rookie netted a solid 3.27 era in AAA this season. My team pick is Arizona Diamondbacks 1.5 runs. Ketel Marte is consistently generating offense, netting five RBIs in his last eight games. The veteran second baseman is having another great season, bashing 17 home runs with 51 RBIs and a solid .859 OPS. Marte has two home runs, three RBIs, and a dazzling 1.05 ops against the Braves this season. He is questionable with a back injury. Marcelo Zuna continues to shine, bashing two home runs with five RBIs on the month. The veteran slugger is having a marvelous season, clubbing 23 home runs with 72 RBIs and a .943 ops. Ozuna had a big series against Arizona early in the year, collecting five RBIs and a dazzling 1.3 ops. My total pick is over.